Gimkit has a new farming game mode that appears to be their biggest update since it came out with 2D game modes altogether. In this video, I'll explain what it is, how to play it, and why this is a milestone that changes EdTech forever. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more GimKit updates as they drop. So a couple of months ago, GimKit creator Josh said they were making a new farming mode for GimKit. After releasing games like Tag and Capture the Flag, hearing the new action-packed farming mode was coming out made me a little skeptical. However, when I saw the amount of time and dedication put into this mode, I was blown away. It's not a farming reskin of Fishtopia. It's not even a clone of Farmville. It's definitely its own legit game. So there are two modes, collaborative mode and competition mode. Game modes within a game mode. Anyway, in collaborative mode, like the floor is lava game mode, you and your class work together to make as much money as possible before the time is up. In competition mode, you are put into one of three teams to try to see which team will make the most money before the end of the match. In this game, players must strategize with their teammates because there are various roles one can take. You could be a farmer literally buying seeds, planting, growing, and selling crops. A researcher uses energy to buy research, which allows the team to be able to buy more expensive seeds yielding higher selling crops. A water bucketeer runs back and forth from a well to help the farmer water their crops. A trash collector picks up garbage around the farm. And runners are people who can get the crops from farmers and then take it to the selling table. Even though a runner is not a clear role, it is specifically handy to have a runner because you can only hold two of the same crop uh, at a time. Anyone can do any number of these roles they want to, but a team that strategizes will make the most money the quickest. The map is huge and is stated by GimKit's creator Josh to be the biggest map for a 2D game mode so far. Teammates can drop crops and other items to give to their other teammates, but their opponents will not be able to pick them up. However, in playing competitive mode, a, different, a player of a different team can steal from their opponents, adding a new layer of strategy to the game. Now, one of the craziest pieces of information is that this game mode will be for live matches or homework assignments. That means a student can gain lots of experience for skins while playing a fully fleshed out game on their own time. I recommend giving students drill work kits with easy questions during a classroom match and more challenging questions for their assignments when they aren't rushed to compete. This is a milestone for EdTech because it isn't a half thought up game, like half thought up ideas, like mobile games that, you know, are in-app purchases, you know, just those bad ones. This game mode is truly a game in itself that would be enjoyable for anyone to play with their peers, even if it wasn't with um, the education element alone. Once again, GimKit is setting the bar high for its competitors like Kahoot, Look It, Quizzes to catch up to. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an online course to finish. Peace.